Are you intimidated by OpenSCAD? Well, that shouldn't be the case any longer. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share some updates to the OpenSCAD application, which is going to make it much easier for novices and newcomers to OpenSCAD to make value out of the tons of applications on the internet and Thingiverse and other STL sources out there. So with that being said, before we jump into it, wanted to share with you, if you're new to this channel, I also produce an OpenSCAD channel, and I have a link to that below, as well as a reciprocal website which houses a ton of code which you guys can download for free uh, to create different models to learn from etc because that's the whole idea of that whole channel and site. With that being said today we're going to use this license plate cover example to demonstrate the new uh, updates in OpenSCAD and when I say new they've been around for a little bit of time however it really just hit me to do an update video on this to help you guys out. So with that being said we want to check our version so I'm going to go up here to help as you can see up here. I'm going to click about and then you can see the version I'm using is 2019.01 release candidate 4. So depending on when you're watching this your version might be newer but this is the minimum version that I would recommend uh, to be using. Now with that being said we're going to close this out and one of the big things with OpenSCAD is it's a programming language and, and it's a parametric one at that so you have different parameters which build upon different parameters and this is done through the use of variables and you can see that over here and so you see the list of variables. Now since this is really a teaching application I've been very cognizant about structuring these in an orderly fashion so people can learn from my code. A lot of people aren't Aren't so structured with this and even if they are this structured with it if you're a new user it can be a little bit intimidating to go over here and make changes and if you accidentally delete a semicolon and you get various different errors and it just becomes problematic so the folks at OpenSCAD came up with a better way to do this and it's called the customizer and to access that what we're going to do is go up here to view and we're going to come down here to where it says hide customizer and you can see it's checked we're going to click it to uncheck it and you're going to notice a pane on the right hand side will open up displaying all the values that we see on the code pane on the left hand side now the neat part about this is you don't have to worry about messing with the code any longer you can just simply update the various dialog boxes you see here to make changes to the model on top of that what's even cooler is the fact you can save or create pre so you see here we can add a new preset, we can delete a preset, and we can save the preset. So for example with this license plate cover we could create three different versions, one for a boat, one for a trailer, one for a car, and have different sizes and text and save those as presets and then call them back up. This is a lot handier than having three or four different files and having to keep track of all of those. Now with this being said, and you're new to this and you download say this uh, application from my website or another application from Thingiverse, how do you generate an STL model? Well, with inside of OpenSCAD, the way it works is you have basically a working version, which is what we see here on the screen. Um, that we can work with and, and because again this is rather graphically intensive the working version is sort of a if you will a non rendered version of the end product so what we have to do is render this to make this to an into an STL now don't get all worried or anything like that it's very simple to do so after we set our values over here what we simply do is go up here and you see that we have the render icon or F6 we're going to click that and it's going to render it now since I've already rendered this prior it did it it did it very quickly so depending upon the state of render it can take a long time or a short time so just give it some time let it finish but when it comes back up here rendering finished as you see down here then it's ready to go and then basically we can just go up here and we can click export as STL Bob's your uncle and now you have an STL file you can send to your slicer and print 
It's all that simple. So again, there is no reason any longer to be intimidated by OpenSCAD. Uh, you know, download the different applications off the internet in, in Thingiverse, etc. Uh, take advantage of them. And, and again, I highly recommend learning if programming is your thing or if you think it is, jump into it. Uh, OpenSCAD programming is very straightforward and also a very powerful language. So with that being said, don't forget, if you're interested, subscribe to the OpenSCAD YouTube channel. Definitely subscribe to the DIY3Dtech.com if you're not already. Swag Shop's in the corner. Check out the cool Maker Geek or Geek Maker. And we'll see you in the next video where we do something else cool. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our